Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna show you how you can record a video using multiple camera angles, just like this. Seems like it'd be pretty hard, right? It turns out it's a lot easier than you would ever expect, and I'll walk you through step-by-step step how you can do this. So what do you need to be able to do this? Well, first off, you need at least two cameras, and really any camera will do. You can even have an old cell phone lying around. Next, we need to use software called DaVinci Resolve 17. The good news is it's entirely free to download and I've included a link in the description. Next, you also need something you wanna film using multiple angles. Maybe you have a work presentation or a school presentation coming up. If you use multiple camera angles, you are sure to impress. If you don't have anything you wanna edit with multiple cameras, well, I have included sample files in the description down below so you can follow along. All right, why don't we jump on the PC and let's give this a shot. Here I am on my PC and I have DaVinci Resolve 17 open. We're going to be using this software today to pull together our multi-cam video. Once again, this is free software that you can download. I've included a link in the description. If this is your first time ever using DaVinci Resolve, I've also included a link to a tutorial video in the description that'll show you all the basics of how you edit videos in Resolve. Over on the left-hand side, I've included two sample video files that we're going to be working with today. Once again, if you want to follow along, I've included links to these files in the description. One of the most important items is you want to make sure that both video files have the same frame rate when you record them. Okay, enough talk. Let's pull together our multi-cam video. Down here in DaVinci Resolve, let's click on New Project, and I'm going to title this Multi-Cam. Once you give your project a name, let's click on Create. This opens up a new project for Multi-Cam. Let's shift our focus down to the pages on the bottom and first off let's click on the one that says media next this drops us on the media page and this is where we are going to import all of our video files by far the easiest way to import media here is to simply drag and drop it I have my two files on the desktop so I'll select them and then drop them into the media pool Next, we see a prompt that appears asking us if we wanna change the project frame rate to match the clip frame rate so we don't have to manually go in and update the project to match our clips. Let's click on change. I now see both of my media files in the media pool and in a moment we'll synchronize these so we can set up a multi-cam. However, before we do that, one thing worth calling out, if you have an older machine, sometimes working with multiple camera angles can be very taxing on your machine and you might know Notice it lag. One workaround, you can select all of your clips and when you right click on it, there are two different options to help with this. First, you could generate proxy media. What this will do is it creates another version of your media clip but at a lower resolution. Also, you can generate optimized media. These are two things to try, especially when you're working with many different camera angles. I'm ready now to start pulling together my multi-cam video. Select all of your files that you want to include and all of the different camera angles and then hover over one of the clips and right click on it. Within this context menu, there's the option to create a new multi-cam clip using these selected clips. Let's select this option. Next, this opens up a dialog where I can create my new multi-cam clip. Up at the top, I could define when the multi-cam clip starts. I simply want it to start at the beginning, so I'll leave it set to the default. Next, I could also name my multi-cam clip. I'm going to call this multi-cam. We'll just keep it simple. Next, I can select the frame rate. I'll leave it as the default. Down below, I have a drop-down menu for angle sync, and these are all of the different options you have for synchronizing all of your different video files. You can do it visually based on the in or out point. If you have a time code associated with your camera and all of your different cameras, you can use a time code to synchronize those. Additionally, you can also place a marker on the waveform and then it'll align clips based on that. However, I want to keep things simple today. I just used my phone and a basic camera, so I want DaVinci Resolve to synchronize all of my clips based on the sound. I'll select this option. Down below, I have an option for how I want to name all of my different angles. By default, it's set to sequential. You have a few different options here. Now, I've already named my two different files. One of them's called main camera. One of them's called wide angle camera. I want to use those names, so I'll 
all go with the clip name. Down below, there's some additional options to split the multi-cam clips at the gaps. I don't wanna do that. There's also the option to detect clips from the same camera. Let's say that you were recording with one camera and then maybe you had to change the battery and then you started recording again. It'll identify that those clips came from the same camera. I just have two clean clips right here, so I don't need to check that. Down below, there's also the option to move the source clips to original clips bin. And in a moment, I'll show you what this means. Next, let's click on create. If we look back at the media pool, you'll now see that it created a new multi-cam clip and over here is my bin with the original clips. So it helps clean up my media pool a little bit by moving all of the files that it used to create my multi-cam clip by putting them into a separate folder. Now that we have the multi-cam clip set up, let's click over into the editing view. Once again, if you've never worked in this editing view before, I've included a link to a tutorial that'll show you how to get up to speed on how you could edit videos with DaVinci Resolve. Within the editing view, I also have the media pool up here. If you don't immediately see it, you could toggle the media pool on or off by clicking on this icon up above. Here I see my multi-cam clip that's been pulled together, and once again, because I checked that box within the prompt, all of the original source files got put into their own separate folder. I want to start editing my video now, so up in the media pool, I'll click on the multi-cam clip, and I'll simply click on that and drag it down to my timeline down below. I now have my clip on the timeline, but right now it's only using one of the camera angles and it's also only using the audio from one of my cameras. I wanna switch between the cameras and in a moment we'll look at how we can do that. Before we do that though, I wanna show you how you could set the default camera and also the default audio. By setting the default camera, this is gonna be the camera that you'll go back to most often. When I click on the video file, I can right click. Down at the bottom of this list, there's the option to switch the multi-cam clip angle. Basically, you're defining what the default angle is. Right now, I have it set to the main camera, but I could switch to the wide angle camera if I wanna make this my default camera. And if I right click, I'll switch it back to the main camera. With the audio as well, you can also set the default audio track. When I right click on this, just like with the video, down below, I could switch the multi-cam clip angle. Right now, the audio Audio is set to the main camera, but I can also choose the audio from my other camera. Now my main camera is hooked up to a better microphone, so I'm gonna use this as my default audio. Now that we have our multi-cam clip down on the timeline, how do we actually switch between the different camera angles? Let's now focus our attention up at the source viewer and also the final video viewer. Up in the top right hand corner, if you don't see two video clips side by side, you can click on this icon to toggle between just one viewer or two viewers. We want two viewers turned on. Next, over in the source viewer, let's click on this icon over here, and by default, it's set to show the source. We wanna switch this to multi-cam. I can now see my two different cameras up in the source viewer. Let's say that I had more than two cameras and I wanted to see all of them up here. Over on the right-hand side in the bottom corner of the source viewer, right now it's set to default, but I could view a four by four grid, so I could view up to 16 different cameras. Cameras. Now I only have two cameras, so I'll leave it at one by two. I now wanna start selecting different angles and it's really easy. I can play my timeline down below by pressing the space bar and then I could simply click on the video that I wanna have go live. Let's test this out to see how it works. You how you can record a video using multiple camera angles just like this. There you can see as I click on the different video files up here in the multi-cam viewer, it automatically makes adjustments to my timeline. Here if I go back and I play my video and here I could preview it up above. How you can record a video. Here now it's switching the different camera angles. Along with clicking up here in the source viewer to select which camera I wanna have go live, I could also use shortcut keys. The video on the left is the first video, so I press the one key and the video on the right is the second video, so I press the two key. Now one of the problems is as I select each of these video files, you'll notice that it's also inserting the associated audio file. And I don't want that. I want it to simply use my master audio file because the audio that's associated with the main camera is the best audio. Back up in the multi-cam viewer, I have three different icons that appear. Depending on which icon I select, that'll determine whether I insert just the video, if it inserts the video and the audio, or whether it just inserts the audio. Now, like I said, my main camera has the best audio and I don't wanna use the audio associated with the wide angle camera. So in this case, when I switch my camera angles, I simply want it to switch the video and not also 
also the audio. Now that I've selected video, I'm now all set to start going through and making edits to my video clip. Right here at the seven second point, I switch my focus from the main camera to the wide angle camera. So right here, I'll switch to my second camera. Right at the nine second point, I focus back on the main camera again, so I'll press one. All I have to do is press my keyboard keys and that'll switch the camera that's currently active. Here again at 17 seconds, I switch my focus, so I'll press number two or I could click on the video and that'll switch which video's in focus. I made a few more edits to my video and here now you see it's switching between the different camera angles. Now let's say as I'm going through this, let's say that I chose the wrong clip in a certain position and I actually meant to include the first camera here. Now I can go back and I could modify this. When I have this clip selected, I can right click and then I could once again switch the multi-cam clip angle. So here I could switch it back to the main camera. Now that I have all of my clips down on the timeline, all of the same editing tools apply. If I want to make any fine adjustments between where a clip starts or where a clip closes, I can edit these clips with any one of these tools up above. Once I'm all done making all of my edits, I can go down to the deliver page on the bottom. On the deliver page, I can now prepare my video to render. Up in the top left hand corner, I could define all the different settings related to my video. I usually upload my videos to YouTube, so I'll click on YouTube over here. I'll simply give it a quick file name and choose a location. Once I give it a file name and a location, I could go through and set the resolution, the format, and a number of different settings. Once I'm all set to go, I can add this to the render queue. Here now I see it in the render queue and then I can render the video and that'll finalize it. So in this case, I'll have a QuickTime video. You could also set it to MP4 and that's how easy it is to set up a multi-cam clip. All right, that was a quick video showing you how you can record your very own multi-cam video, and I think you'll agree it's actually pretty straightforward. If you enjoyed this video and you now know how to do it, please give this video a thumbs up. To see future videos like this, hit that subscribe button. If you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below. All right, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.